Greetings and thank you for another opportunity to come and spend some time with you. We're drawing close to another week and we trust that you've been walking in the goodness of God. We trust you've been experiencing His mercies each and every day that God has been loading every day of your life with His benefits. We've been talking this week about strengthening our inner man and we've been touching on various practices and disciplines that we can engage in so that we can be strengthened with power by His Spirit in our inner person. Today I bring our attention to another important discipline which is exercising our spiritual faculties. The Apostle Paul mentions this or writes about this in Galatians chapter 5. He says, if we walk in the Spirit, let us also be led by the Spirit, and let us also live in the Spirit. So in Galatians chapter 5, he talks about living in the Spirit, walking in the Spirit, and being led by the Spirit. In other words, he's saying, look, and he contrasts this to somebody who walks in the flesh. So. The inference there is, as believers, we are supposed to operate out of our spirit. Our everyday life must come out of our spirit. So he says, we live, we walk, and we are led by the spirit. Our spirit operating in submission to the Holy Spirit. That's how we're supposed to live. And if we do that, he says, hey, we're going to be victorious over the flesh. Now we're not touching on that aspect, but I want to emphasize these things that Paul is saying. You've got to live in the Spirit, you've got to walk in the Spirit, you've got to be led by the Spirit. How does that happen? That means the Holy Spirit dwelling in me should have His bearing, His influence upon my human spirit. And then from there, I begin to live. I, care, I, I do the things I need to do from the Spirit. How does this happen? So the human spirit has these five faculties. We can see, we can hear in the spirit, we can feel in the spirit, of course we can taste and smell in the spirit, and all of these things we can see in the Bible. So God has endowed our spirit with these faculties, and through these faculties, the Holy Spirit is leading us, He is inspiring us, He is imparting to us. And so we receive from the spirit, through these faculties and we live out of that and it is through that we're able to walk in love joy peace kindness meekness goodness self-control and faith or sincerity or faithfulness that's how those fruit of the spirit are birthed or born in our lives as we through our spirit faculties are connected with the holy spirit so Exercise your spiritual faculties. What does that mean? Say, what do I feel in my spirit? What am I hearing in my spirit? What am I seeing in my spirit? And I begin to make decisions. I begin to do things out of that. And this requires some training. And that's going to take a separate uh, study to understand how to do that. But I just want to encourage you. Exercise your spiritual faculties. So that you can walk and live and be led by the Spirit. Let's pray. Father, help us, O oh Lord, we pray, to live in the Spirit, to walk in the Spirit, to be led by the Spirit, so that we can be strengthened in our inner man and bear the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.